Good evening, this is Mission Control Houston bringing you live coverage of the docking of the Progress 82 cargo spacecraft to the Poise docking compartment on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. You are currently seeing live views inside the balcony view from inside the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. Flight controllers here in the International Space Station flight control room have been working with flight controllers half a world away in the Russian Mission Control Center in the town of Koryov on the outskirts of Moscow to monitor the slow and steady approach of the Progress 82 cargo craft to the International Space Station. The unpiloted, unpiloted resupply cargo vehicle that launched on Tuesday is wrapping up its two-day 34-orbit journey to the station, again docking to the Poise module just about 30 minutes from now. You're currently seeing live views from progress as it approaches the International Space Station. All of the progress systems are in good shape and all of the rendezvous burns and engine firings to fine tune the progress approach have been executed without an issue and the progress is all set moving into the neighborhood of the International Space Station a short time from now. As progress moves in close to the station, it will begin an automated fly around of the station to precisely align its docking mechanism with the poised docking compartment. The angle for alignment is 127 degrees. The docking compartment serves as a docking port for Russian vehicles as well as an airlock for Russian spacewalks out of the International Space Station. Here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room in Houston, the Orbit 3 team of flight controllers are on, on console for the progress docking this evening. Teams are being led by Flight Director Chloe Mehring, and to her right is Spacecraft Communicator, or CAPCOM, NASA astronaut Woody Hoberg, selected in 2017 and looking forward to his first flight on Crew-6 as the pilot. He will be providing a second set of eyes as progress approaches the station today. Progress 82 lifted off on Tuesday, October 25th, right on time at 7.20 p.m. Central Time, which was 5.20 a.m. on October 26th at the launch site in Baikonur. The Soyuz 2.1A booster filled with 2.8 tons of cargo lifted off from Site 31 in Baikonur and performed a series of three nominal burns to propel the progress into orbit where it began its two-day 34-orbit journey to the orbital outpost and the progress is set to arrive and dock to the Poise docking compartment on the space-facing side of the station this evening and we're looking for that time to be around 9.51 p.m. Central Time. Again, all of the various rendezvous maneuvers and engine firings have gone as planned to set the progress up for its automated docking. The CORE's automated rendezvous system on the progress and its corresponding hardware on the Russian segment of the station have all been activated and checked out and everything is in good shape, as well as the TORU system, which is the telerobotically operated rendezvous system that would be used from a control panel using a joystick in the Russian segment in the service module of the station in the unlikely event that an an automated rendezvous problem would occur that would prevent the core's automated system from guiding the progress in for docking. <coughs> Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin are standing by, monitoring docking, ready to jump into motion if needed. 
and we now have live views from the International Space Station of progress as it approaches. The Progress is carrying 5,552 pounds or 2.8 tons of cargo to the International Space Station. Within that cargo is 1,545 pounds of propellant, 89 pounds of nitrogen, 926 pounds of water, and 2,992 pounds of dry cargo, which includes spare parts and other supplies for the crew on board the International Space Station. There are currently seven crew members aboard the International Space Station. From left to right are NASA astronauts Frank Rubio, Roscosmos cosmonaut Dmitry Patelin, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Koichi Wakata, NASA astronauts Josh Cassida and Nicole Mann, and Roscosmos cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Anna Kikina. Once the progress docks to the poised docking compartment, about 28 minutes from now, the hooks will close between the two docking interfaces, forming a hard mate between the two vehicles. There will then be about three hours worth of leak checks that will be performed by Russian cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin on the poised docking compartment side of the docking interface between the International Space Station before the hatches are open to enable the crew members to begin unloading the cargo of the Progress. Дальность 
As the International Space Station flies 266 statute miles off the coast of Australia, cameras on board the Progress Vehicle are giving us views as it encloses, approaches the International Space Station. The station keeping will keep taking place, and we've begun the fly around the range of 210 meters between the progress itself and the International Space Station. Those moments for station keeping allows the crew and Koryov to assess the status of the systems on the resupply vehicle before the command is given for final approach for contact and capture. At the show open, the progress continue executing a series of pre-programmed engine firings called impulse burns. Those burns are small thruster firings from the engine that will enable the progress to move more precisely, fine tune its course to the International Space Station. And this view again is from the external camera on the International Space Station. We can see as progress approaches the neighborhood of the International Space Station. Two forty is the range and range rate is zero point thirty two. And we are aiming for the MRM two docking node. And this view is from the progress vehicle. You can see in the lower left-hand section that top number 226 kilometers or meters away now from its docking to the poise docking compartment. Dock, docking scheduled now in just 12 minutes, 22 minutes and 53 seconds from now. At the time of docking, the rate of closure will be reduced to just one-tenth of a meter per second. Then at the point of contact and capture, the relative motion between the two vehicles will have to dampen out, which typically takes a minute or so. Then the forward docking probe will be retracted on the progress to pull it in for a hard mate with the docking service surface at the docking port of the Poise docking compartment. Still in a fly around for an, another seven, about another seven minutes after a fly around and station keeping, progress will be given the final, the go for final approach. Looking for that go in about 10 minutes from now.
208 is the um, range, and minus 0 0.07 is the range rate. And we see the docking um, node on MRM2, and we copy. You're continuing with the fly around. The image is really bright. I'm playing with the AGC mode to just the to select the best view. Absolutely. You have a go to work with the AGC mode. And I'm turning off operation or Rabota. Copy. Getting another view now from the trust cameras on the International Space Station of Progress. Progress in the International Space Station flying about 270 statute miles above the South Pacific Ocean. And progress is now 200 meters away, meaning it is at the keep out sphere, is entering again that neighborhood of the International Space Station. Got. Again, progress is about 200 meters away from the station, closing in at a rate of about one tenth per meters per second. One ninety-eight is the range, and zero point zero six is the range rate. We see the docking um, node on MRM two. Copy. We see operation of um, the bullet thrusters, and we are at the docking axis. And we see uh, approach flag is up. We are continuing with the uh, roll maneuver. The fly around of the station will last for just a few more minutes, resulting in station ending the station keeping for the crew, for the progress vehicle. And again, this is giving flight controllers and the Russian control team time to assess the vehicle systems before they reinitiate the system's automated approach for contact and capture. So look at page two of the radiogram as far as um, commands that you need to send um, on the, um, display 44. Yes, that's going to be page uh, three point, uh, uh, step 3.3, um, but please stand by for our go. We are standing by for the station keeping. Copy. And we are continuing with the roll maneuver. 
Again, progress in the final stretch to deliver 5,552 pounds or about 2.8 tons of cargo to the International Space Station. One hundred and seventy five meters now separating the progress from the International Space Station. I confirm station keeping. One seventy five is the range and zero point zero one is the range rate. And station keeping has started. Again, this holds position at a range currently of 175 meters away from the International Space Station, designed to enable the flight control team and Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov to assess the status of the progress systems before the final approach is initiated. In a role to align its solar arrays for final approach. And approach, approach is um, confirmed to. Please deactivate operation. And final approach is now initiated. Right, with, uh, AGC. Let's leave it like that. Copy. Now switch to page 23, please. Copy. We are going to page 23. We are monitoring um, automated approach. Yep. Approach. Monitor automatic, automatic final approach. And docking process. That's where we are. The range uh, rate is minus 0 0.8, and the range is decreasing. Copy. The image is pretty dark. I'm going to switch to level one of the AGC mode. Yeah, give it a try. Uh, it's about 10 seconds till um, twilight. 10 minutes, okay. And that's kind of better. I'm going to leave it as is with level one of the HSC mode. Correction, 10 minutes. Now the view from the progress vehicle. Again, you can see in the lower left-hand corner the distance. Now just 114 meters away from the station. All systems still running smoothly for a docking just a few minutes away from now. In the middle of the crosshairs on the screen, that center point you'll see as progress continues to move in closer to the station, that alignment of the center point with the docking target that's just underneath the docking port on the Poise docking compartment that all coordinated by the core's automated docking system that essentially sends signals back and forth to a corresponding antenna on the Russian segment on the International Space Station to update navigational information for the Progress's computers. Uh, for the ruler, and we are in the... Um, 90 meters now separating Progress and the station. We copy. You can press on. Range is 70, range rate is minus 32, and the target is about one and a half uh, um, squares off. We copy. The International Space Station in progress now flying over the South Pacific off the west coast of South America less than 64 meters away until docking. Uh, 
Range is 60 and minus 0 0.25 is the range rate. We copy. Fifty-three meters now separating the International Space Station and the Progress Vehicle. Range is fifty, and the range rate is minus uh, zero point nineteen, and the um, target is a uh, one square off. And we are standing by for the confirmation of the SSVP um, ready docking and internal transfer system ready message. Uh, the um, image disappeared for a second, and it's disappearing again, and it's back up. Copy. And SSVP, docking and internal transfer system ready. Uh, we got it. So uh, range is 0 0.047 kilometers. Range rate is minus 0 0.17 meters per second. Through an interpreter, you hear the conversation between the Russian flight controllers and Koryov between Sergei Prokopiev or Dim and Dmitry Patelin aboard the International Space Station as they watch and as the approach of progress on the monitor in the FESMA module, just 46 meters away. Right. The image is too dark. I don't see... Um, uh, I don't see the image, so I'm turning on BPS initial and operation, and let me adjust with the AGC mode. Go ahead. All right, second um, level. Copy. Работа operation is on. Please get ready uh, for um, uh, steps at the range of 10. Uh, so our VK Zakar closed. Our VK closed command. Do not send it. Okay, we are getting close to the range of 30 uh, meters, and I am turning on BPS initial and then activation. Uh, enable breakout. And I confirm, we confirm as well on our ed end. Thirty six meters away from the International Space Station. Uh, Copy. Range is about. 25 meters, and the target is off by about uh, um, one square. Copy. Range is about 20 meters, and uh, the target is in the center. Copy. So please stand by for the confirmation of SSVP, Docking Internal Transfer System. Um, ready message. Twenty six meters now separating progress and the International Space Station. Range is about seventeen meters. Renato. 
And we confirm uh, Baza AR. Copy. The target, I don't see the crosshairs. And I am going to level three of the agency mode and try and fl play with the floodlight as well. All right, uh, that's a little bit too bright. Let's switch to level two back. Oh. The range is about 12 meters. Copy. The range is 10 meters, and uh, the range rate is minus 0 0.9. We copy. And uh, the range is um, six meters. Copy. About six meters now until docking. The image is a little bit wonky. We are at about four meter range. Copy. We are standing by for contact. Standing by for contact and capture. About four meters away, we are now standing by for contact and capture. We are standing by for contact. The uh, target is a little bit off to the left. And we're currently in a brief period between satellites right now as docking continues. We're still waiting for that confer confirmation of comp. Unintelligible mode. Contact and capture confirmed. Copy and congratulations, guys, with such a successful. We have confirmed contact and capture of the Progress 82 vehicle. Again, contact confirmed, docking confirmed at 9.49 p.m. Central Time, 10.49 p.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station and Progress 82 were flying about 269 statute miles above the South Pacific Ocean off the west coast of Chile. Now we'll stand by for that relative motion between the vehicle and the station to slow down before the docking probe is retracted on the progress to enable hooks to close to form a hard mate between the progress and the station.
Moscow Station on Space to Ground 1 for Dmitry. Go ahead on Space to Ground 1. Dmitry. You can um, start to slowly turn off um, video monitoring system. Copy. Okay, and unintelligible is off on SSC. Computer, can we turn off? Can uh, we uh, deactivate the camcorder? Yeah, the, uh, just leave the one that's internal that we can see you on. Uh, everything else can be turned off. All right, sounds good. By the way, for the cyan, it started uh, um, appearing when we were using uh, Display 44. The moment we closed Display 44, mm -hmm. the cyan issue went away. Okay, copy. Good job, guys. It's good that you figured out how to resolve the issue and just close Display 44. Thank you for the compliment. The retraction of the docking probe was confirmed, and now we're beginning the closing of the hooks to form a hard mate between the Poist docking compartment and the Progress 82 resupply craft. Moscow Station on Space to Ground 1 for the download, downlink of the recorded video. Do you, where do you want it, guys, on Share SS? Dmitry, stand by one. Yes, the specialists are telling Share SS is the place to put it on. Copy, you will do. We. We now have confirmation that the progress hooks are closed and we are now and we now have a hard mate between the Poist docking compartment and the Progress eighty two resupply craft. That completes the Progress 82's flawless launch to docking that began with its liftoff from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on, tu on Tuesday at 7.20 p.m. Central Time, which was 5.20 a.m. Wednesday in Baikonur. The Progress 82 lifted off atop a Soyuz 2.1A booster, which performed a series of three nominal burns to propel the Progress into its preliminary orbit, where it began a two-day, 34-orbit journey to the International Space Station. And just a few minutes ago, the Progress 82 docked to the Poise module, docked to the Poise docking compartment on the Russian segment of the International Space Station at 9.49 p.m. Central Time, 10.49 p.m. Eastern Time, as the Progress and the station were flying about 269 statute miles above the South Pacific Ocean off the west coast of Chile. 
with the Progress 82 hooks now closed. The Russian cosmonauts in the Russian segment of the station, Commander Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin, will begin a series of leak checks to ensure that there's a tight seal between the docking interface between the Progress and the Poise docking compartment which will set the stage for the opening of the hatch and the start of unloading of some of that time-sensitive cargo within that 2.8 tons brought up by the Progress. Again, with the hooks closed and the Progress 82 officially docked to the International Space Station, that'll wrap up our coverage this evening. This is Mission Control Houston.